Hi everybody, we're gonna get started in just a few minutes. We're gonna give them a couple more minutes to get on. Just wanna make sure everyone can hear me. If you'll chat, um, type in the chat box. Anybody? Can you guys hear me? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Grant. How many of you guys have started back to school live? Anybody going in person? Katie, you're virtual only right now. Okay. Nice. Ooh, September 8th. Wow, you got a long break until you get started. Are you excited to start back? Is anybody nervous? Okay, sounds like a lot of people are doing uh, virtual school or hybrid. Right, we had quite a few people that signed up, so I'm going to give them just maybe a couple more minutes just to get started or to jump on just so no one misses anything. Oh, I bet you are excited to see the kids. I know um, I have a 10 year old son and uh, he misses seeing all of his teachers. Um, he doesn't like his substitute teacher mom very much, I don't think. <laughs> So, I bet it's hard to find a hybrid program. I would imagine that doing a hybrid program or planning for virtual school would be a lot like being a pilot, building a plane and trying to fly it at the same time. It would be very, very hard. So it's amazing that you guys do what you do. It could not be me. So God bless you all. It could not be me. <laughs> All right, so we have started and are doing both traditional and virtual. Um, I can imagine that does not sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I know um, your time is very valuable and we wanna make this as short and as quick and as informative as we possibly can for all of you. I wanna start out by thanking each of you for your time and for showing up here and being a part of this with us. As you can see, Justin Snyder is on here as well with me. He is our vice president of FFA Sales. We are um, social distancing from our office today in Wilmington, North Carolina. So our CEO, Pete Hexter is here with us as well. And I uh, just wanna say thank you so much again for being here. We understand it's a very difficult time right now in America in general, but even more difficult with all of us trying to figure out what school looks like and that's very stressful. So again, want to make this short and sweet but informative and also let you know that um, we're here for you to help you with your funding solutions, which is why we offer this and we want to make fundraising less stressful for you because this time more than any other time is going to be harder than it normally is. 
So we're going to jump right into things. I'm going to um, introduce myself first. I'm Jesse Stewart. I am uh, the president of Bloom. And again, Justin Snyder's here on the phone. I won't be able to see you guys because a lot of you don't have your cameras on. And Justin's going to be managing the chat box. So we will do question answer at the end of the webinar. But if you do have a question and you're like, oh, I just don't want to forget that, go ahead and type it in the chat box. Justin will answer you or we can save it to the end. So if you have a question, please don't hesitate to let us know. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys and we are going to dive right in. So can everybody see my screen? All right, so today we're going to be talking about our funding solutions. Uh, we are a partner of National FFA and have recently par partnered with NAAE to bring you what we think is the most profitable fundraising solution that you will ever find, um, especially for FFA. That's our goal and our commitment. And just in case many of you don't know about Bloom, we hope by now that you've seen our emails, that you've seen our social media pages, and that you know that uh, we are a fundraising company based out of North Carolina. Our goal is indeed to support individual chapters across America by offering the most profitable fundraiser for FFA and impacting on a local, a state, and a national level. Um, our CEO of Bloom, Pete Hexter, actually grew up in a farm in New Jersey, and he has been a part of many large companies, and in his last company, he kept a small portion of it, which is where Bloom came from. It's called Bloom for Good, because that's what we are about, and growing up on a farm, he realized that it brought him a lot of leadership skills and joy, and so he said, why not, in my last hurrah, build a company and base it off of nothing but giving back. And uh, that's exactly what we've done. We built a company that our sole thing is to give back as much as we can to organizations such as FFA, youth golf, and other uh, youth sports. So why would we do this other than him growing up on a farm? We went to national convention two years ago. We've been working with FFA for a couple years now, but when we went to national convention for the first time two years ago, and we saw all of the kids walking around in their blue jackets, we realized that there's something about an FFA student putting on this blue jacket and the conversations that we were having with them and the way that they carried themselves was amazing. And we walked out of there with some renewed found energy that we just knew in our heart that this is where we need to focus. This is where we need to put our energy because this really is our future leaders. And the more and more that we've dug into agricultural life and FFA kids and what you guys do so incredibly well in your ag classrooms, we know that that's true. That these kids and what you do every day to teach them how to be leaders, it's, they're going to be leading your classrooms in 20, 30 years and passing down to other kids what you're teaching them now. They're going to be leading us all the way around. So that's why this is so important. That's why we feel so very strongly about giving back. And that's why we give back 80%. So what is it exactly that we offer? So we do fundraising and we do two models. So we have started with FFA cards, which many of you have seen. We've revised those and we'll get to that soon. But when COVID hit, we had a moment where we thought we've been working with online fundraising. We do online fundraising for PGA. I'm also a PGA professional. So we run an online fundraising program with them and it's very successful. And we thought we need to make sure that that fits into our FFA model. So instead of pausing in the time of COVID, we pivoted and we said, let's get it up and running faster. And that's what we've done. So we also make this online fundraising model, which we like to, um, we like to use as contactless fundraising because you don't have to go door to door. And since we're living in a virtual world right now, it just made sense that you could do online fundraising, you could do FFA cards, or you could do both. 
And having that option has been incredible. We've been doing a lot of training in the last um, three to four weeks, and we've seen a lot of great responses from the ag teachers that are already putting it into place. So what is it exactly that you are selling for your fundraiser? Because of course you're gonna be selling something to earn profits. What we offer is something that we feel very strongly that no one else has. So we often get compared to the local football cards or the local cards that you know teams will sell or whatever, but it's so much larger than that. So it's an app-based or friendly product called the FFA Travel and Savings Membership. It's good for one year. It sells for $20. And as a side note, out of that $20, you keep $14 for your chapter. Um, it's good both locally and nationally. So I'm in North Carolina right now, but I do live in Florida. So even though I use it in Florida regularly for pizza or movies or whatever, traveling to North Carolina, I'm able to book a hotel room in North Carolina using my app. I'm able to go to a local restaurant in North Carolina and use my app. So it travels with me everywhere I go. It's not just right in my area, which makes it so much different than the local cars. And there's always they're always putting new product on there. So it kind of ebb and flows. So never think that it, it never gets stale. It's not like these six deals are all you have for the entire life of your membership. It's always changing. But there are thousands of savings on there. There's over 400,000 different opportunities for savings. Our travel platform is next to none, very comparable with Expedia. I would say most of the time it, it does give you a list on the travel side. And it'll show you the different savings between your price lines and hot lines and, and um, hot wires and Expedia. So it's a better deal. It gives you wholesale pricing on travel at hotels. Now, right now, you might not want to travel because we're living in a world where people don't want to. But eventually, you're going to want to take a vacation. Your supporters are eventually going to want to take a vacation. So I would encourage you as you're selling these to pull up the travel portal and even though they might be scared to travel right now, they won't be forever. So that's a good way to get them to realize the value of the membership that you're only, they're only paying $20 for. And again, all you do is pull up your phone and it's all available right on your cell phone. And then you have the ability to add vendor partners. So if you thought, well, I live in a rural area and I really just don't know if I can, you know, even if it's local or even if it's national or even if I can use the travel, I don't know how much support I'll get because there's no local deals because everybody likes a good local place. We have the ability on our website where you can go and you can make this an area where you can get your chapter members to go out and make it a leadership or a proposal to a vendor and they can add to the platform. And then it also becomes a local deal that you can use. Now for our cards, and some of these are available on the online opportunity as well, we have partnered with some of the vendors you will see below and now we offer those discounts on cards. So I will show those to you in a minute, but a huge shout out to these vendors, specifically the ones listed below, who are already huge supporters of FFA, who when we called to talk to them, didn't hesitate and said, you know what, I'm all in, let's do it. Let's see how much we can, we can do for FFA because like we said in the beginning, this is the future of America. So they were on board, didn't hesitate. So we just wanna make sure that we keep sharing their logos and um, everything else. Do want to add before we move on, there is no cost to the online food fundraiser. So if you are thinking, well, I just, I'm running a hybrid program or I'm trying to, I'm trying to do all this stuff from home and I just don't know how fundraising is gonna really fit in. I do kind of want you to know that um, the cool thing is, is that if we set up a fundraising page for you, which I'm gonna show you soon, there's no cost. There's zero cost to you actually doing this. So online fundraising, you're gonna share it via email, text, social media, um, and then you're trying to raise, let's say you have to raise $1,000, you're trying to get $1,000 from a small, group, a small amount from a large group of people. 
So that's what we call online fundraising. So it makes it very easy. Like I said in the beginning, it's very simple. We try to make it no additional work for the ag teacher. Um, Justin is a past ag teacher who ran our program last year and was hugely successful and thought, okay, well, I want to help on a bigger level. So now he has the opportunity to work with us and help every chapter in the nation raise funds, which is so cool. Um, so if you want to know a little bit more, and we won't go over it in depth today on this, on this because we know that you have a lot going on, but Justin can share with you how he raised so much money in a short amount of time. So we tried to make it as simple as possible for the ag teacher because we do know that you have a lot of extra work to do. Like I said earlier, no door to door selling. So they don't have to go and ask anybody for money if you're doing the online. We build your chapter a custom fundraising page, which I'm going to show you very soon what that would look like. We will set up a QR code so that your actual will be on your phone and they can just share it right there. Quick and easy setup to get your chapter members involved in the online fundraiser. So you have one page and then each of them can join under your page and they can get their friends and family to support them. And then that goes right into you monitoring it. There is digital monitoring on the dashboard, which I'm going to show you soon, where you can see all your students are going to be listed out. And that way you can keep track. So you walk into the classroom, you throw up the dashboard on your whiteboard and they can see who's raised money. So it becomes a friendly little competition between them and you don't even really have to call them out because it's up there on the board. It's not like them walking in and you saying, did you sell any of your cards today? How many cards do you have left? We really need to get to this amount of money. Look at all the things that we're trying to, to accomplish for our ag program. You can throw it up and say, hey guys, you haven't raised any money, look. It's right here, what's going on? And you can kind of walk them through it. Um, you can make it a leadership opportunity. You could have two captains in your class, your chapter officers become the person who runs the dashboard and they could be holding the students accountable. So they would need to lead the entire chapter through their um, process of selling their memberships. And then the cool thing about this is you're not alone you will never be alone in your online fundraiser even if you felt like it's a little intimidating even if you're not savvy with um, computer stuff or online technology because justin or myself or both of us can walk you through a zoom call justin and i did a couple of trainings together and i think to train someone how to use it and get all their students up we also have videos it took us maybe 20 minutes max and that was with question and answer so it's not that hard to actually get everything done. So if you'll take out your phone, if you happen to have it and scan this code right here, this QR code, I'm gonna walk you through how the online fundraiser works. It's quick and easy to get your members set up. They're gonna market to their friends, family and other people via social media. They're gonna share their chapter, the FFA chapter and savings membership virtually. So no door to door but they should understand the product just in case they receive questions. So what is the, the FFA travel and savings platform? They do need to understand what the membership includes. Tell your why. Why are you fundraising? Regardless if you're doing cards or in hand, it's really important for people to understand if you're building a new barn or you're trying to get feed for animals or you have a class project or you're going on a trip, whatever your why is, is what you need to explain to your audience to gain their support. And then providing the leadership opportunity so they're holding each other accountable are some of the ways that we see this fitting into the classroom. And again, Justin talks to ag teachers multiple, multiple times a day. So we're always learning to what other people are doing to be successful and we're gonna share that with you. I'm gonna walk you through at this point what your dashboard would look like. So we set up your online fundraiser. This is what the hub of your fundraiser looks like, kind of the back of your house. This is a mock one that we set up. And um, we do this training where we'll walk you through step by step how to get your participants to join with this code. I'm not going to go over all that today, um, but I do want to share with you what it would look like if you were to have us send you a page. 
So in this mock one, we set up a total goal of $500. And then we have five participants in our class. So you can see right here, every single participant is listed out separately. It takes that number that I said, the, hundred, um, the $500, and it divides it by the number of participants. So the goal here would be $100 per person. That's only sell, asking them to sell five memberships. And the more people that you have in there, this goal per participant is going to go down. And then when Luke here raises money and he reaches his $100 goal, this zero is going to change to is going to change to 100. So all of his classmates would be able to see that Luke's raised money and no one else has. So that's, this is the part that I was saying you could throw up on your whiteboard and see what's going on. So this is what you would get. This is what Justin and I can walk you through. We also have videos, step-by-step -step videos where you can show your class how to join. And then your fundraising page looks very similar. So we use this as a mock. If you have a logo, we can we could throw it in there. Um, we put a picture here. This is what your supporters will see. They'll see this right here. They'll see your goal. And then right from here, it can be shared via Facebook just by hitting the button. It can be shared. You can copy the link. You can even text it to yourself and share it right from text which is really cool. Um, so that's how your fundraising page is gonna work. And I know we're gonna have a couple of questions about that and that's okay. Um, we can answer those in the end. And again, if you decide you wanna do the online fundraising, we are gonna be able to do a Zoom call with you and help you set that up. We could even do one with your classroom and we can walk your class through how to set it up if they just bring their cell phone. I think what's great about the online fundraising is chapter members are so savvy anyways when it comes to technology and phones that you could set this up and have them join your fundraiser in probably about three to five minutes. It's not a long process. I've watched kids on the golf side raise $350 in 15 to 30 minutes. So they could easily set this up they could text it to themselves, they could share it with friends and family, and they could be done meeting their goal of whatever it is in X amount of time. And the other thing we talk a lot about when we're setting up goals is we talk about setting an incentive up and we um, can walk through some ideas with you on that too, to give the person who reaches their goal the fastest or the person who sells the most or the person that goes above and beyond. We have a whole page of incentives and things that Justin did as well and other teachers have done that work. So let's say you decide we're going back to school face to face. We want to do fundraising. We want to do the online, but we also want to do the in hand cards because sometimes it's just better for people to buy things when they can visually see it. And we understand that the card program's not going anywhere. It's still a very big part of what we do. And a matter of fact, now it's even bigger. So as you can see, we've changed the card. Um, this card's fully loaded with everything we talked about before. So it still has those 400,000 plus savings, the $100 travel credit still very much visible. Um, there's very low minimum order. So if you're gonna do a order of cards, it's 100 minimum. And then you still get 80% of every single sale. So again, if it's a $20 sale, your chapter keeps $14 of every $20. $14. Um, 30 day payment terms, which means there's no up cost to you in the beginning. You can return 10% of unsold cards. So now you're in, you can start fundraising for zero on either way, but then the cards obviously are going to cost you $4 per card once you have to pay for them in the 30 day terms. Now, all of these exclusives are, some of them are one, one use. So Justin's boots um, is actually multiple use. And these stainless steel tumblers, multiple use. Cavenders is a one-time use. Crocs is $20 off of $100. Um, Olga's Mercantile is going to be um, all kinds of cool things. They have spices. They have cookies. They have meats. They have all kinds of different things. Um, that's multiple use. And then shop FFA's uh, multiple use as well. 
And then um, the $100 travel credit um, will continue to work as we go through and you use up your $100 travel credit, you can continue to get credits. We are working with another vendor and hope that that one will change, but I won't let the cat out of the bag just in case it doesn't. But um, fingers crossed that that will work. So now you've decided that you want to build an online fundraising page or that you want to have cards. But the biggest thing that we want to share with you is that you have to be proactive, not reactive. So if we build you a fundraising page and it looks amazing, if you don't share it with people, it's not the field of dreams, they're not gonna to come to you. They're just not. People aren't just gonna randomly be searching the internet and find your chapter fundraiser and be like, oh, okay, I think I'll donate to them today. That's not gonna happen. So you have to get your chapter involved. We know that this program is very successful. We know that online fundraising is successful. We do it every day. Um, We've been doing it a long time with the PGA, so we know that kids can do this. It is not hard, but they have to be involved and they have to understand what they're doing. Um, they also need to market their fundraiser by tapping into the market, using your resource of uh, friends, family, supporters. The cool thing about our membership that's so different than the local ones is that if grandma lives in Wisconsin and Luke lives in North Carolina, grandma can still buy one. If you sell to grandma and granddad and uh, aunts and uncles, voila, you're done. Mom and dad are, of course, going to buy one. So we talked about earlier keeping your chapter members involved and giving them incentives of some, of some kind, maybe assign a chapter officer to help you with this. Justin did that. He had them make a list of everything that they wanted. And randomly enough, all they wanted was socks. They wanted FFA socks. So. Um, that's a really cool thing. We've seen chapters that have set an incentive for um, their people to get their jackets. So if you set $1 aside out of your $14, you're getting 80% back, which is the largest fundraiser that you'll do. If you set $1 aside and still keep the 13, you can buy some really good incentives for your chapter. Make sure you know why you're fundraising. Everybody has a reason, everybody needs something. You're building, you're uh, feeding, you're going on trips, you're doing virtual trainings, you're doing leadership conferences, you're always doing something. So make sure that's a huge part of what you're trying to explain to people, because that's very important. We know the FFA and the FFA brand holds a lot of weight. We've also learned though that some, of, some people don't, even in the community, they don't know what FFA is all about. So it's also a great opportunity for your chapter to share the amazing things that you do. Understanding the product, so your chapter <laughs> will do that. So if you understand, then your chapter members are gonna understand. So make sure that you understand what the product is that we are selling. What is the FFA travel and savings card? What is the $100 travel credit? What do I get if I do the card? And then again, some of those snap offs around the card are also available online. The ones that are just um, static codes are online. Justin and I can go over that with you if you're interested in that as well. So how do you get started? Where do you go to get more information? How do you find resources? Remember, we're here for you. We're here to help you. We believe in what you're doing. We believe in agriculture, which is why we wanna be so involved. It's why we partnered with FFA. It's why we partner with NAAE. Um, we're very grateful to you and we wanna help you as much as possible. So you're never in this alone. Please follow us on social media. You've got Justin's email there. You can reach Pete and I by info at bloomforgood.com. We also have all kinds of resources available online. So whether it's an online program you're trying to do or a card program that you're trying to do, we have it all mapped out. We have videos that'll train you through it. Like I said, Justin or I, or both of us can jump on a Zoom call with you and we can walk your chapter through any of your questions. We can walk your kids on how to sign up. We can walk through the travel and savings model. We can do any of those things. So you're never alone in this. We are here for you and we want to make sure that you're going to be successful. So I've stopped sharing my screen and we're going to go into our question and answer. Justin, if you want to unmute yourself and then maybe say a few words. Um, just want to clarify one thing. So 
you're keeping 70% at the chapter level. We're going to invoice you for $6 because we're going to distribute the, the split to National FFA and to NAAE in yes. the State Ag Teachers Association. So I just want to make sure that you understand that, you know, you are going to see an invoice for $6, but we are responsible for distributing the other two to where they have to go within the FFA organization. That's great. Okay. And so okay. if any of you have any questions for me, I mean, I, I did run it in my chapter last year. I'll give you a little background on that. That's about, uh, I have about 60 kids within my chapter. Given the current program, if all things being equal, that with those 60 kids, I would have made somewhere around $7,600. So um, last year's program was slightly different. Still the same percentages, was just selling the card at $10 instead of 20. Uh, didn't have as good, I mean, it, it had still had the app and everything, but with the enhancements of the offers that are FFA exclusives, I just feel like it's going to make it that much easier for you to sell that because of we've accustomed everybody for becoming online shoppers. Even the generation that didn't want to have to learn how to do it has learned how to do it in the last six months. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's opportunities there that you take that same program I ran a year ago and, and turn 591 cards from 60 kids into $7,600. That's pretty significant in about three weeks. So, The other thing is that I would, encourage, I would encourage you guys, Justin, can you mute? I'm getting an echo. Sorry. I would encourage you guys to go onto my FFA rewards and check out your area, enter in your zip code, see everything that's available and realize that once they, if you decide to get the card, once they register their membership, they don't need the card anymore. It's all online, it's all app-based. So they don't need that, or they can do it on their computer, but they won't be able to use the card outside of the snap-offs. If they do the online program, then they get an email that walks them through how to do their signups and how to get their membership activated. So either way, you're getting, they're getting the same product as well, just so you know. What other questions might we have? There has to be some questions. Anybody? Can, can you guys kind of chat in the chat box and tell us what other fundraisers you've done in the past? and when your big fundraising season is. <clears throat> Justin, you ran yours in the fall. I can't hear you. Hear me now? Oh, yep. I did run mine in the fall. And for those of you that have football teams, that that is their big fundraiser and you feel like that may be a conflict of interest within your school, this would be my suggestion to you. I mean, it was not a problem for us because it was different products, different audience. But if that is a concern, move it to December, move it to January, move it to FF, February when it's FFA month and doing it during FFA week, simply because out of sight, out of mind, you get three or four months away from that football sale. Nobody's even remembering that they got that card stuck away in their wallet or in their you know, glove box. So uh, I think you can still exist with, you know, a similar program going on within the school. I think the other thing too, is so many people do the, have done in the past, the coupon books or something like that. And I know I always forgot mine. So when I would support my, my own child and buy, buy whatever he's selling at school, it became a nightmare because it never worked. I always forgot my coupons and then I realized it was never available at that specific location anyway. So what I love about this is how convenient it is to everywhere we go, everywhere we travel. Um, it's convenient, it's on my phone. I never have to worry about forgetting anything. I don't know if you guys are like me, I forget things easily. Um, mom brain, that's what I tell everybody. So- I see a lot of fruit sales, I see yeah. I, uh, the, the, the beef stick, candy bar. You know, you know, which are very agricultural things. I mean, I, I've, I've been part of that. I did wreath sales. I did a number of things, but also had a lot of that stuff rot in my shop when I was teaching. And uh, when I left the classroom in February to come on board with Bloom, I still had nine cards left over from our card sale. I missed by nine cards. 
and uh, they were not rotten at all sitting in my desk. So anyway, um, that is one advantage. They don't expire. Uh, so you have 365 days from the day you activate them as opposed to the day that you order them. Yeah, that's a good point. So they don't go bad. So after, after you have them, they don't actually become live product until the supporter registers the card. And they have 365 days after that, which gives you the ability to continue to run the fundraiser year after year after year, right? So a lot of good fundraisers here. Uh, Catherine, you've boxed chicken cell. That's interesting. And Boston butt. Nice. Okay, well, in return for the online model, the same as the card model. Uh, yes, 70%. Um, the thing about the online model, though, is I don't think I said this. If um, the card or the membership costs $20, on the online version, they can also do other. So if they donate $30, you'd still get 70% of the $30. So yes, because the percentages go back to um, your state FFA and national FFA as well, so. And there is a transaction fee on the online, but it doesn't cost you, it costs a supporter when at checkout, there'll be a transaction fee. But uh, other than that, it, that's it. So the reason I asked about your other fundraisers was just to kind of get an idea of what else you guys did and how this would fit into the model you already have. We know with this being a very odd year, it's a good year to try something new or to introduce something new, especially when you don't want to go door to door. And I know a lot of you've had to get very creative with your way that you're selling things or the way that people are picking things up or so the online opportunity obviously offers you an out to a lot of that and still a good value for your supporters and you still get a high return on on the investment so it's just a good introduction to ffa travel and savings product again please go on and explore myffarewards.com if you haven't already Look at the things that are available within a 25 mile radius of your chapter and then share that with other people too. Um, that way they can see what the product is, talk about it, get it excited about it. Um, we will share this webinar with you. I'll also share, we'll send out the presentation. Um, you could show that to your chapter members or any other teachers that you work with. And uh, we'll probably be doing another one soon, just a question answer. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Justin or myself. We're always available to help you. Um, remember, that's our goal is to make this the most profitable fundraiser that FFA has ever seen. So I know for sure that you guys don't have a ton of time and we don't want to take up much more than that. Just know that the resources will be available to you. We'll be doing this again soon. We'll send out this copy of this webinar. We will also send a presentation out to you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll give one last opportunity for questions and then we will um, go ahead and turn it off. Is there something that the supporter can reactivate every year and keep the same format? Yes, so the supporter would have to go through you to buy another membership though. So we do that on purpose so you can run the fundraiser year after year. So if it was just something that they can continue to buy, it wouldn't hold any value to your chapter. But when you do your FFA card sales or online sales, it will expire a year from there then. And then we hope that they're, you're gonna run it again and then they'll come back to you to get it again. So that's kind of the idea of making it reactivated for the year. And remember with the travel we talked about earlier, when you run out of your 100 travel credits, they can continue to get wholesale travel prices. It continues to net it down. They just get 100 credits up front. So um, that's pretty awesome. Any other questions before we wrap up? And again, I'm gonna type Justin's email in the chat box if you guys wanna write that down. Um, if you wanna reach out him, to him directly. And that way, you can always find it on our website, but it's just easier since you're all on here that we can put it in the chat box. Um, 
Okay, well, if we have no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I want to say again, thank you so much for your time in this hour, but also thank you so much for everything else that you do for the lives of the FFA students and for all of our kids. And uh, we hope you have a safe and healthy start to the school year. And we'll be thinking about each of you as you go back into the classroom. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you again for your time and best of luck to each of you. And we look forward to starting a fundraiser with you all soon. All right, have a great day. Bye.